welcome back to the Gifty O conversation. Today we have a beautiful young woman with us to share her experience with us. Please, if this is your first time, kindly subscribe and click the notification bell for amazing conversations. Today we have Valian Logan on the call with us. Hi, Valian. Hello. <laughs> it's so good to have you here. It's so good to have Thank you. Here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And ladies and gentlemen watching us, Valian is Miss University Africa Ghana 2022. So we have a queen with us today. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and your journey is is amazing i was looking you up before this this conversation and i realized yeah. that you were part of miss malaika 2016 and then miss malaika yeah. 2021 yes yes and yes, then you, you became uh miss university africa ghana 2022 but before that Mm -hmm. After Miss Malaika 2016, mm -hmm. I was part of Face of the Nation Ghana 2016. But mm -hmm. we finished 2017. So it started somewhere like middle of 2016, and then we finished the pageants 2017 April. So your yes, life. That one. Yeah, your life has been pageants, pageants, pageants. pageants. Yes. Wow. Yes. Is this what Basically. we call is this what we call soft life? Because I want the soft life too. <laughs> no, this one is not soft life. <laughs> I won't call it soft life because uh -huh. it's not an easy journey to join this pageant industry. You know, those behind the scenes, like the judges and other stuff, they are all human beings like, like us. Yeah. And I say um, first appearance is everything. Mm -hmm. you, you can get there and then the judge will just like you automatically. You can get there yeah. and then the judge... It's, it's all about the connection you have with people. So I wouldn't call it soft life. It's hard work because you need to, you need to get there and try to impress the people you are standing in front of. Yeah. 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 So if, if you don't impress them, if you don't do anything that will like make them like have a connection with you, then you might probably get kicked out of the competition. Yes. Yes. <laughs> But let me ask you this before before we move on. Have you yeah. always wanted to be a model? Like, you know, when we are children, they ask you, what do you want to be? And we say, I want to be a doctor. I want to... Have you always yeah, wanted yeah, to yeah. be a model? Yes, yes, yes. I've always wanted to do modeling. You know, I started, like, I didn't know what modeling was. I got to know about modeling when I was about seven, eight years old. Mm -hmm. That was when I watched my first ever, I think it was Miss World. Wow. So that was when I told my dad I want to be a model. I even told my mom, like my relatives, anybody who asked me, what do you want to be in future? A model. That's what I say, though. So, wow. Yeah, it's been since <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. tell us your journey from um your schooling days to when you entered your first pageant. Can you tell us a bit about that? Okay, so when I was in school, okay, I started pageantry in JHS. I see. That there, was this, there was this competition they did in my school, JHS. It was called Miss Class 6. <laughs> wow. So that was my first, that was my first pageantry. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to senior high school, I did the Miss Nino, the freshest night. So wow. I was part of the Miss, but I didn't win. Then after school, after, after um, senior high school, then I joined the Miss Malaika competition. That was when I came out as top 20. Wow. Yes, I was, yes, I was part of the top 20. Out of about um, 200 ladies, I was part of the top 20. So it was actually an achievement to get to that level. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, we moved on to, I moved on to um, Face of the Nation Ghana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then Miss Malaika again in 2021. Mm -hmm. Then now uh, Miss University of Africa Ghana 2022. So wow. I'll be representing Ghana Hopefully this month or next month. It's all because of the um, Nigeria election. That that is what has caused the delay. But if not for mm -hmm. that, would have been there by now. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And and tell me something. Um, I know that pageantry is a competition. Yeah. You, you have been through several of them. How does it feel like when 
you are expecting to win and then along the line you have to get out how, how does it feel it's quite heartbreaking you know like it's like you're trying your best to get something and then like you don't you don't reach the level that you wanted to be like it's like you've planned everything out okay mm -hmm. I want to do this. Okay, in the next competition, this is what I'm going to do to make sure I win the... You know, for Miss Malaika, there's a task. Yeah. Every week, there's a task. So, like, you've planned, okay, this task, how am I going to come out as the best? That kind of thing. So, like, if they just cut the competition short for you, like, I'm like, okay, so all the plans you had, everything yeah. Yeah. Just goes down the drain. Like, it's like... It's quite heartbreaking. It's really, really sad. Sometimes when they late, like they evict other ladies before you are evicted, the way they cry and everything, you even feel sad. And when it gets to your turn, you, 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 even at that moment, you never want to imagine yourself in that position. Yeah. And then when it comes, it's, it's very sad. But then sometimes we psych ourselves. Okay, so after my next Malika 2016, mm -hmm. I realized that everything doesn't revolve around us. You understand like we always want to get it but if we don't get it life goes on yes so, yes um, 2016 i was quite young i didn't really understand certain things so like it really hits me but then moving forward when i entered other pageants i told myself see when i win it's fine if i don't win we move on like we go to yes. the next one we don't give up i don't quit that's the thing i'll try another one and then if it doesn't go i'll try again that is what has landed me here today. That is why today I am Miss University Africa Ghana 2022. If I gave up 2016, I don't think I would have been here today. Yes, yeah. and so, I, I I really loved one thing um you did after Miss Malika 2021. Um I watch your WhatsApp status. And after, yeah. after Miss Malika 2021, I saw you posting good images of you laughing, having a good time. Yeah, yeah and saying that yeah. we move on and that really inspired me because i know the whole nation is watching miss malaika so if you are yeah. taken out or evicted it, it would be a big blow but i like the way you handled that in fact I learned, so I learned a lot from you from that particular oh, uh, few you. posts that thank you, you. show yes um tell us about if someone wants to enter um miss malaika and let's say they are a student, what are they to expect? Tell us about the effort they have to put in, the, the monetary constraints. What do they have to do to prepare for Miss Malaika? Okay, so for Miss Malaika, before anyone will enter Miss Malaika, my advice would be that if you are a student, mm -hmm. um, you should know your schedule. Like, um, your lecture time and everything because Miss Malaika is time consuming. Mm. Sometimes the, the, the time you have lectures, they will need you yeah. on set. Yeah. So are you going to forfeit your lecture for a pageant which you don't know whether you would even come out first or not? Yeah. So usually Miss Malaika also tries to put to start the competition around maybe when people are about to vacate and other things, but it doesn't really favor everyone. Because the time maybe Legon is vacating, maybe that's the time a private university is now starting, like they've now resumed. True. So the timetable doesn't really favor everyone. So if you are in your final year, I wouldn't advise you to go for my life. I would advise you to stay home, mm -hmm. study, and focus on your education. But if you're in your first year and you want to try it, okay, fine, you can try it. But you should also forfeit your lectures for the pageant. The pageantry, they understand these things. Like the Miss Malaga competition, yeah. they understand these things. So if you also tell maybe the patron or someone that oh you have the chaperone, sorry, that you have like maybe a class or something, they can try to like compromise and then maybe allow you to finish your class and you can come and join the task. Mm -hmm. Sometimes to some of the tasks you have to go away for a weekend. Exactly. They, yes, they they travel like for excursions and things. So. Actually, it's time. I don't know the best advice to give to someone in this position <laughs> because, you know, I can say something based on what I think is right, but mm -hmm. others might have other opinion about it. So yeah. I think let me just leave it here for now. <laughs> but then you, you do what you feel is right for you. Okay. That's what I'll say. 
Okay. What about how... the monetary aspect? Exactly. That's what I was coming. The to. monetary aspect. See, I think before you enter Miss Malika, the honest truth is you should get a sponsor. Maybe, or you should be well off. Maybe you have a lot of shoes, clothes, because it's not everything that the the sponsors will be giving to you. Some yeah. of them, the, they, they don't have like shoe sponsors. So somebody to provide your shoes, you're not going to get that. Sometimes the clothing aspects, you get designers like giving you outfits and things, sewing dresses for you and all, but it's not always. Like most of the time, everything is going to come from your wardrobe. And you know, it's yeah. TV. Nobody yeah. wants to repeat a dress. TV. everybody yeah. wants to look good it's more like a competition and you know it's it's a fashion thing like miss malika is this kind of like glamorous pretty face that kind of thing so everybody wants to look their best at every given time like mm -hmm. if today we come like somebody wants to look this but you shouldn't you should, sorry you shouldn't use um having designer brands is not like really necessary yeah, some people try to go for the Louboutin, the Gucci and things, but see, if oh. you have your normal outfit and things, it's fine. Nobody will know that what you're wearing is false. Nobody will know that what you're wearing is this thing is second hand or whatever. So just wow. go to, to be on a budget. If if you really want to do the pageant and you want to save, you can go to the market and get some false outfit and then like get yourself some clothes and shoes and everything. But what I'm trying to say is you should have a lot of clothes and shoes yeah. and hair. Yeah. Most of the time, what people do to save, to, to be on the safer side is they braid. They go for braids. So maybe if you have maybe like rasta or something, then you're good to go. Yeah. But then if you also want to go with your wigs and things, then you should have, like you should always have different styles and things for TV. You know, sometimes, sometimes, Internet bullies just want to traumatize your life. So if you wear a particular wig, you see in the comments, somebody will be saying, hey, you there every day, this wig in Kwanwa, is it the only wig you have? You know that thing. So nobody wants to be found in that spot. So like every time, everybody wants to look their best and different. And it's, it's, but it's not a pressure thing. Nobody's giving anybody pressure. But like I don't tell you that it's not, it's not pressure. Like whatever you have, then you wear. That's what I'm saying. If you don't have the money for it, just go to the market and get yourself some second-hand clothes. And then, like, rock it in. Nobody will know. It's not written yeah. there that what you're wearing yes. is second-hand. So yes, yes. Don't give yourself pressure at all. Just be yourself and then, like, go with the flow. That's all. Yes, you mentioned internet bullies. Have you yes. experienced that? And can you give us an example? <laughs> well, I experienced it some time ago on Facebook. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was in Nigeria working and I took a video. I was in my room. Mm -hmm. And then someone, some actually I was, it was, it was in my messages. It wasn't yeah. a comment. Okay. The person just came and said, you, 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 you are a very stupid girl. You think you're beautiful, Lama, like that kind of thing. Like the person was just insulting me. So wow. when I saw the message, when I went to the person's profile, I realized the person has blocked me. And I, I laugh because if you knew what you did was right, why would you even block me after sending me that kind of message? Exactly. Some people just want you to feel small because like maybe, I don't know, they see you to be like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how to put it, but there are people just like that. And you, you see, shouldn't pay attention to them. Yes. People, some people are just negative and better and they like to project that on other people exactly yes. once they see that you are always on social media always smiling they think everything is good for you so they have yeah. to project some negativity but honestly yeah. everyone is going through something no matter yeah. no matter what you see on social media the person may be going through something but then may not want to sh share their personal life on social exactly. media so yes. yeah and and um do you think no let me ask you not do you think is modeling a lucrative career especially in ghana well it depends mm -hmm. it depends like for freelance models modeling is all about connection and gigs like links let me put True. it that way True. if you have good connections and if you have a good manager 
not just any manager. Somebody might have a manager, but the person is not getting jobs. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. jobs, like if you get a good manager, someone who is into the fashion industry, like they know their way around and things, you'd always be there. Like you would always be making your money. Let me use someone like Victoria Michaels. Yeah. Victoria Michaels is a very renowned like model in Ghana. Her brand is so big, like she she models outside. It's it's fetching a lot of money for her. Mm -hmm. But then there are some models that's like they are not getting that kind of money they want. They are not even traveling and stuff. So mm -hmm. I think the modeling it depends on the links and the kind of agency you also join. And like as for a model, number one thing is an agent. If you don't have a good agent or a good manager, then you're not going to end. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, Sometimes I, I, some people, let me add this. Some people don't, some people don't have agents and managers, mm -hmm. but they know a lot of people and yeah. that's what helps. So it's also about who you know in the, in the industry. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you to mention a few agencies, but I, I won't do that <laughs> because I, I don't want it to sound like you are being picky. Okay. So yes. Yes. No, yes. I know that you are also in Methodist University and you are studying marketing. Yes, right? I'm saying, yes. Bus I'm studying a Bachelor of Business Administration in marketing. Okay, okay. Why do you want to shift from modeling into, into uh, the corporate world marketing? Well, I've always wanted to be a model, but like, I don't know. Right now, I feel like the corporate world is booming, so yeah, mm. I want to go into the corporate industry. Yeah, are you enjoying I have modeling I... forever? Yes, yes, yeah. that's yeah. true. That's and true. education is key. True. As you are growing or progressing, you always need to like add some value to your life, true. and that's what I'm doing. adding value to my life. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think that's smart. I think that's smart yeah. because for modeling, I know it's tasking you your body has to be a certain way your yeah whilst yeah you are growing whilst you are growing you can't rely a hundred percent on the modeling you have to exactly have to yourself and yeah on that note are you are you naturally slim or you have to go through some dieting and because I've no, I'm actually slim. <laughs> i don't go through any diet that's a funny thing really and most of yeah no i don't I don't eat anything. Like I eat the normal food everyone eats. I eat fufu. I eat banku. Like I eat the like I eat local food. I eat everything. Girl, but this is that not I fair. This is not fair. <laughs> it's not me. That's how I am. <laughs> wow, you have some I really eat everything. Yeah. Because. Pardon? I said, it means you have really good genes. Your mom and dad, I don't know the kind of genes they gave you, but... You'll be surprised if you see my mom. And you'll be surprised if you see my dad. Are they slim? No. So where did you They're get not... this from? I don't know. <laughs> I surprised myself. People keep telling me, if I give birth, I'll gain weight. But I reject that. It's wow. You know, I'm not going to gain much? weight after birth. <laughs> I don't know why people are like this. Why, why would you say something like this to me? Why would you tell me if I give that I'll gain weight? It won't happen. <laughs> you know, some of us have to watch our diet, exercise, do fasting, intermittent fasting before you are blessed. Exactly. Yeah, no, but you sometimes, blessed. you know, sometimes when I'm at work, I, I school and work. So sometimes when I'm at work, like the work becomes very tedious to the extent that you even forget to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Then when you're there, you're like, hey, I'm not eating you. Then now wow. you, you start looking for something to eat. So, yeah. Wow. yeah. Now, okay. Is there a time you had to reject a modeling job? Have you had that experience? Can you tell us? A lot. So sometimes why? Some brands would come to you mm -hmm. and ask you to come and do a job for them, but they don't want to pay you. All in the name of, oh, and we are an upcoming business. And the only thing we can do for you is just give you food and transportation. No, wow. it doesn't work like that. Wow. Yes. So that means you don't see my value because you wouldn't go to another model and tell the model that True. I would just cater for your um, food. 
even some people wouldn't even cater for food and transportation. They want you to do it for free, nothing at all. Sometimes myself, I look at the brand and I go like, okay, I can work with them. It depends on how you talk to the person. But then others will just come to you and then go like, no, we are not paying you. Um, it's free. Mm -hmm. the, 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 like, you know, like, so I had to reject a lot. And some people too come with, um, ah, I know if I hate this, others, some people would have problems with me. I don't know. Please anytime you talk about <laughs> Anytime you talk about this aspect, you know, some people go like, oh, there, there they go again, that kind of thing. Others come to you, and then when they give you the job, it's not even a job they want to give you. They, they, they come with sexual intention, basically. Yeah. A lot of, most of the time, some comes from photographers. So me, when it, when it has to do with photographers and other things, I'm really picky about the photographers I work with. Recently, a photographer DM me asking me if I would like to do a shoot. I just said, no, I won't do it. Mm. It's not it's not like I'm I, I don't know how to put it. Someone will be like, oh shredding. No, it's yeah. not like that. But I, I know what's like I have seen from these people. Like when you get there on set. So usually if you're going for a photo shoot or something, I prefer going with a friend. Yeah. I don't go alone. Because I don't know where I'm going to. Or I go with my boo boo. You know, boo boo. So, yeah. Of course. <laughs> and and so fact, basically, um, yeah. I think for 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 sexual advances, most of us even think that for modeling, modeling is for people who don't really care. They can expose themselves. They we we have a perception no. about modeling. No, no, no. I'm a model, but I don't expose myself. Yeah. So yeah. yes, that that is another factor. So if it has to do with a bikini shoot, I won't do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't do bikini. I don't expose myself. There are lots of models I know that don't expose themselves. Yeah. It's not like we don't go for screening or something. No, mm -hmm. we, we, we go to the full side and all. But there are certain pictures we won't take. Yes. I don't even do video. I've done video shoots before, but then it was a long time. It didn't even air. So I don't do video shoots. I don't do wow. bikini shoots. Like, wow. basically. Yeah. So okay. before, before I let you go, what are some of the sacrifices that you have you have made in your career? I would say school. For example, when I was in Malika 2016, I was at Second Unity International Schools College and it have affected my school a lot. Yeah. I had to, I mean, I think I did third just for the Malika pageant. Yeah. And then when I was at third, I went back to continue where I school. Yeah. So usually people defer for these things and it's not easy to defer and then come back and then you're in a completely different class with different faces, like a different group of people, you know? Mm -hmm. When you when you start school, you bond with the people you start with. Maybe you guys had already started a study group or something, and now you have to stop it, mm -hmm. go for a project, come back and then associate yourself with diff like a different set of people. Exactly. It's not easy, at least. Exactly. Especially, yeah. I also think that I am putting myself in your shoes and thinking mm -hmm. that if I see my colleagues I started with graduating before me because yeah. I had to put something on hold and I didn't even win and come yeah. back, it would feel, I would feel sad. Yeah, would yeah, feel it's true. Yeah. yeah. Valiant, thank you so much for for giving us your time today and joining us on the Gift Your Conversations. We are going to bring you back to talk about <laughs> it. will be my pleasure. <laughs> we are going to bring and you thank back. Thank you to so talk much for having me. Pardon? You're welcome. You are welcome. I yeah, I was saying that we would bring you back to talk about something else. I have a list of questions that I didn't ask you. So we will oh, bring you back. It'll be my pleasure. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, Valian. Thank you so do you much. Want for to share, do you want to share your um, Instagram handle so that we can follow? Yeah. You? So my Instagram handle is um, Valian Logan underscore. Okay. My Facebook is Valian Logan. Okay. 
I think because I have about three accounts because I forgot the password to one of them. <laughs> I've tried retrieving it. It's not it's not working because I, I even forgot the password for the email I used. Wow. So, so let me just stick with the Instagram, but in Logan underscore. Okay, okay, all right. We would we would add that to the description of this video so people can follow you. Thank you so much. Thank all you. right. Thank you too. Have a good time. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and click the notification bell to be notified of our next video. Until then, please make sure you have at least one good conversation this week.